Now this is the inspection process for the padded performance horse. Upon entering the DQP inspection area, the handler gives the horse's back number and class number for which he's been entered. The first part of the inspection process is thermography, looking for any abnormal heat patterns. That's Dr. Bennett. He's acting as a USDA rep of the MO taking the thermography. Now, just to let you know, this thermography, you're supposed to be in a room for 20 minutes before you ever do it. You're not supposed to be doing it out in an open area, but this is the way it's done at the celebration, so this is the way we're showing it. The second part of this procedure is referred to as swabbing, otherwise known as gas chromography, looking for the application of any foreign substances. The pasture areas will be swabbed in each area, the back, the sides, and the front. Each pasture area is swabbed independently. The second part of the inspection process, the horse is led in front of the DQP, directed to do a figure eight around two cones. The DQP himself monitors the horse's movement so the horse maintains free and easy movement at all times. Then the horse is directed to the DQP inspector and his process begins. Always with the left forward leg, the inspector will palpate the tendon area and then move to the rear pastern of the horse's ankle. Then the foreleg is moved forward in front of the horse and the inspector checks for any sensitive areas on the sides and the front. Then the inspector will move over to the right foreleg and begin the same process again. There's one other thing they do do with flat shot horses, or two things. They hoof test them with a hoof tester on the flat shots, and they also get a gauge out and measure the shoe to make sure that the shoe is the right weight, right gauge. It's after this inspection by the DQP that the VMO, or the USDA veterinarian, will step in. He'll monitor the horse's movement around this same figure eight pattern. Then the horse is directed back to the VMO for his process of inspection to begin. The final stage of the TQP inspection process, the horse is led over to perform x-rays on each foreleg, again beginning with the left leg and then proceeding to the right to check for any rotation in the coffin bone. And 
I want to make a statement right now. The USDA, the Humane Society, other organizations have used a shoe with nails in it to uh, say this is the amount of nails we put in horses' hoof. That is not true either. Eight nails, only eight go into the horse's hoof, and that, if you check, is standard throughout the equine industry. That some of them use only use two on each side, some of them use three on each side, but none of them that I know of use more than four on each side. And that is what actually goes into the hoof. The rest of those nails was in building the set of pads, the package as we call it, for this horse to, to show in. Upon being cleared in all these different areas of the inspection process, the horse is directed to the warm-up area, and then the process begins to prepare the horse for competition. Now that's an example of an inspection process that the walking horse goes through when the government's there, when they want us to go through every one. A lot of times, even on the x-rays, they misdiagnose uh, what is actually going on, especially when he said rotation of the coffin bone. Right. They have taken and turned down horses at the celebration for rotated coffin bone, but once they get up to Root and Riddle or one of your major veterinary clinics, nothing wrong with the coffin bone. Same thing with scar root. Uh, they found horses out on scar root. They get up to one of the larger veterinarian clinics, they look at it and they cannot find any scar on the horse. 